Hello and welcome to Introduction to Edexcel A-Level Business. My name is Graham and in this free online course, we're just going to run through how the Edexcel A-Level Business is structured. We're going to look at assessment and assessment objectives, as well as looking at quantitative skills and numerical concepts. Let's begin by looking at how Edexcel A-Level Business is structured. Well, the course comprises of four themes and consists of three externally examined papers, which we'll look at in the next video. Themes one and two will provide you with an introduction to core business topics, which will allow you to apply these topics to business contexts and to help you develop an understanding of how real businesses operate. Themes three and four provide you with more breadth and depth of business knowledge and require you to take a more strategic and long-term view of business issues and opportunities. And themes three and four really build on the content covered in themes one and two. Okay, let's drill down a little bit deeper. So theme one is called marketing and people. And in this theme, you will be introduced to the market, exploring both the marketing and people functions of business. In theme one, you will develop an understanding of the following areas, meeting customer needs, the market, marketing mix and strategy, managing people, as well as entrepreneurs and leaders. Theme two is managing business activities. And in this theme, you will explore key areas in relation to how a business manages their activities and their operations. Specifically, you will look at issues such as raising finance and financial planning, managing finance and resource management, as well as some of the external influences that impact on a business. Theme three, is called business decisions and strategy. And theme three really builds on and develops some of the concepts that were covered and introduced in theme two. So in theme three, you will develop an understanding of business objectives and strategy, things like mission statements and corporate objectives. You will look at business growth and decision-making techniques, such as investment appraisal, critical path analysis and decision trees. We'll also look at the influences on business decisions as well as assessing competitiveness and managing change, all within the context of the business environment. Finally, theme four is global business, and this builds on the concept of theme one, allowing you to develop an understanding of globalization, global markets and business expansion, global marketing, global industries and companies, specifically multinational corporations. Okay, let's end with a little true or false activity that ties together what we've covered in this video. So true or false, theme one is called managing business activities. Is that true or is that false? What do we think? Theme one is called managing business activities. Well, that is false. Theme one is marketing and people. Theme two is managing business activities. Okay, another true or false. Theme four is global business. Is that true or is that false? Now remember theme four builds on the concepts introduced in theme one, but is theme four called global business? Is that true or is that false? It is indeed true. Theme four is called global business. Okay, entrepreneurs and leaders is part of theme one. So are the topics and concepts of entrepreneurs and leaders covered in theme one, which is marketing and people? Is that true? Or is that false? So entrepreneurs and leaders is part of theme one. Is that true? Or is that false? And the answer to this one is, it's true. Entrepreneurs and leaders is part of theme one. Financial planning. Is financial planning part of theme two? Remember, theme two is managing business activities. So is financial planning part of theme two? Is that true or is that false? Well, the answer is, True, financial planning is part of theme two 
as it's part of managing business activities. Okay, last true or false, decision-making techniques are part of theme four. So decision-making techniques look at things like investment appraisal, quantitative sales forecasting, critical path analysis, and decision trees. So are decision-making techniques part of theme four? Is that true or is that false? Remember theme four is global business. Are decision-making techniques covered in that theme? Well, the answer to that one is false. Decision-making techniques are part of theme three. That concludes the first video where we've looked at how Edexcel A-Level Business is structured. Next, we will be looking at assessment and how the course is assessed.